Hello there. This is where the fun begins. What's up guys, unofficial Star Wars here. Hope you're all doing well, and Star Wars just recently teased on how Balin Skull's potential return and story may continue without the legendary Ray Stevenson. It's exactly what we're going to be discussing in today's video, going through all of it, breaking it all down for you guys. We're gonna go ahead and hop right on into it. Before we do though, however, grab that subscribe button if you haven't already, as we're discussing and covering all types of Star Wars related news, leaks, rumors, theories, and breakdowns here on the channel. So if you guys are into any of that, go ahead and grab that subscribe button today. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be taking a quick read from the Direct's article. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. Ray Stevenson's The Balin Skull played a major role throughout Season 1 of Ahsoka on Disney+, Plus, and the character may be brought back when the Star Wars Disney Plus show returns for its second installment that was just recently confirmed and announced officially just a couple of weeks ago. Balin Skull was featured throughout Ahsoka Season 1 as a Jedi turned dark in a search of something better for himself and his apprentice, Shin Hati, wanting to transform and even at that, better the entirety of the galaxy. Many fans have praised Ray Stevenson's performance throughout in the role, but due to the actor's tragic and unfortunate passing, there are many questions about if Balin will return in future Star Wars projects, specifically Ahsoka Season 2. The first question that we want to take into consideration and ask ourselves is, was Balin School's return already even confirmed? Well, we do know that Star Wars has officially confirmed over on X, formerly known as Twitter, and their other social media platforms that Ahsoka will return for a second season for season two by sharing a piece of concept art of Ahsoka Tano and Sabine Wren on top of the hand of the Mortis gods, um, the same ones that we see Balin at the end of the finale. However, in the drawing, Ahsoka and Sabine are standing on the outstretched hand of the statue of the father, the Mortis gods, seemingly the same stone figure that Ray Stevenson's Balin skull was seen on in the final episode of season one. So, this being said, this reveal teases that Season 2 of Ahsoka will likely center on Ahsoka and Sabine trying to follow Balin as he searches for this greater power that he's been sensing throughout Season 1 and on this new planet Peridia. Since Balin and his quest will likely directly influence the events of Season 2, just by the way that things were kind of set up with Season 1, this new piece of concept art could have confirmed that the character will, in fact, return in some shape or form uh, for the second season. I, of course, quite obviously, they probably won't be able to bring back Ray Stevenson, like, you know, using any type of CGI or deep faking technology. I just don't see, you know, Lucasfilm taking that direction, or Dave Filoni, much rather more specifically, taking that direction with the character, and that much rather, they're going to play onto the cards that Balin's character is still out there, essentially. So, if true, that means that Star Wars will have to recast the character of Balin to an extent. There is this possibility, I think, at the same time that I want to quickly briefly mention, that they'd be able to continue with the character, but never actually really show him in a way, essentially. The concept art, although also included writing, as it reads, the story continues. This does further suggest that the end of Season 1, which heavily featured Balin potentially in search of something connected to the Mortis Gods, will be a major plotline of Season 2. And so, this year all being said, another question that everybody wants to ask here is, who would play and take on the role of Balin's skull in Season 2 of Ahsoka? I mean, how would they recast such a legendary character, recast as such a legendary uh, actor of Ray Stevenson. It will be next to near impossible for Star Wars to find someone to replace Ray Stevenson in the role of Balin Skull. Many believe that Ray Stevenson completely embodied this former Jedi, and that at the same time made it to where no one could see anyone but him as the character, and I myself believe this to hold true. And in essence, it's almost as if Ray Stevenson was Balin Skull, or, you know, vice versa, into the manner that he wasn't really even acting, he was just kind of being himself, and that in itself played out so well. However, there are a couple of names that not only resemble Ray Stevenson, but are also able to extude to that same emotion and that on-screen presence as the late actor. One popular actor that somehow suggests to play Balin Skull in Season 2 of Ahsoka is Russell Crowe, who has had one of the most illustrious careers in all of Hollywood. Another big potential actor who could do the role of Balin is 
Graham McTavish, who has played in many big name fantasy and sci fi franchises such as The House of Dragons, The Hobbit, and Netflix's The Watcher. The actor McTavish also sports a striking resemblance to a point of Ray Stevenson, is often also able to command viewers in a kind of sort of fashion of respect and attention when on screen, just the same that Ray Stevenson did throughout Ahsoka Season 1. And a third option that many fans have discussed the idea of taking on the role of Balin Skull in Ahsoka Season 2 would be Jared Butler, is yet another name that is also some fans have lobbied to replace Ray Stevenson. Butler's acting credits include movies like 300 and The Phantom of the Opera, proving that he has an incredible range based off of that. Out of all three of these options though, however, if I have to be completely honest and transparent with you guys, I definitely think that that Russell Crowe has the most resemblance to Balin Skull's character or really to Ray Stevenson at that and would have to be the most likely contender if that is the direction that Lucasfilm would want to take moving forward for the character of Balin Skull in Ahsoka Season 2. Not just that but also in the Thrawn movie from Dave Filoni or also the now upcoming Mandalorian and Grogu movie by Jon Favreau there as well and also appearing in other shows like The Mandalorian or The Book of Boba Fett or even Skeleton Crew. However, as I had also mentioned this other idea of what if they don't even need to necessarily recast anybody that, just like to begin with, don't really have to recast anybody to begin with, or really at that, recast anybody that resembles the character of Ray Stevenson uh, look-wise or uh, of Balin Skull essentially there as well. Like, they would be able to kind of tell that story of Ahsoka and Sabine following Balin to this calling on this planet of Peridia without kind of ever showing him in a way, but much rather just leaving behind his tracks or his clues essentially like saying that yeah his character is still out there and still alive and that they would be kind of following him without really ever showing his face maybe he has his hood up or something like that the actor Butler also looks and sounds similar to Ray Stevenson, it's worth pointing out, and also has a lot of experience in action films and fight choreography, making him also that perfect of four lightsaber combat and important physical scenes at the same time as well. So based off of everything that we've discussed in this video, what would you guys want to see in the future for Balin Skull's character? Would you want to see a potential possible recast? If though, out of all the ones that we've discussed in today's video, who exactly? Let me know in the comments down down below or if there's another one that we didn't discuss in today's video also please let me know in the comments down below i would love to hear what you guys are all thinking let me know also what you guys are looking forward to seeing with ahsoka season 2 your thoughts and opinions and theories in the comments down below thanks so much for watching today's video of course this has been an official star wars i'll catch you guys in the next one have a great one may the force be with you as always peace out